Hey guys, and welcome to a mechanic task guide, back door. For this task, you need to find the unpowered secret exit on reserve, and then extract through that extract. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. For this task, we are going to need to leave through the D2 extract. Now, if you know reserve and you know the underground bunkers and how fun it is down there, then you know this is going to be a fun task. But we are here in the center of reserve. This is the giant helicopter right here. White pawn, black pawn, black bishop, white bishop, and then the other building just over there. Now, there are multiple ways down. As you can see on this map right here, there are a few ways down. And we are going to enter through the black pawn building. Power does actually need to be on for you to actually extract through this extract. So we are going to head down just a flight of stairs right here. Turn left. And you can see at the very end, it says, welcome to hell. We are going to walk all the way down to the very end as you can see welcome to hell turn left follow it to the left keep walking down these wonderful flight of stairs and now we're inside the actual bunker area watch out for raiders and pmcs there are a few tasks down here where you need to well collect and kill raiders so it is quite a high traffic spot we're going to go down into this back area and we're going to flip on the power just like so so now what we're going to do is head to the main area of this well bunker just like so and we're going to continue along going up in this direction towards the um, d2 extract so this is the way to the d2 extract up here is the white pawn building which is just above us right here you can see the white pawn which is just there so now this area is full of extract campers and all the wonderful things. So I am going to point you a few li little spots where people can get up onto. This right here is a spot as well as on top of that door. And obviously it's our first time being here. So if you see a door open or closed, then take that into consideration. Back here is another great spot for camping and this door does spawn closed. When you are leaving this area, the best thing to do is just look down there because that is actually a right peak. Turn to your right straight away, see if someone's down here. When you are walking down these stairs, look behind this door and then do a left and look for any feces behind that door. Continue our way along this wonderful hallway. This door spawns open and so there's the next one. A little tip when it comes to PvP, take out these lights, that one there and this one here. So when you are looking down here towards the um, where campers like to camp, you're not actually silhouetted by the lights. But when you are pushing down, when you are pushing down, you do have one light there that you can take out. But when you are down the very end, there are a few spots you want to shoot, which is right here, up to the top there, and up there. When you are pushing out, though, just here, a lot of people don't check this corner, and you can get rats to sit right up here and wait for you. If you run along the edges, just like so, sometimes the sound can glitch out, and you actually make no audio. And of course, you can get rats down just there. Heading up these stairs, just like so, and look to your right. you got the long corridor. This door does spawn open. And if there is a rat here, the rat can actually sit directly behind this door, just like so. So watch yourself. Coming down along this way, obviously, light, take it out so you don't silhouette. This door spawns open, uh, closed, sorry. But the one across also spawns closed. If you see that it's open, normally you can actually get snipers that lie on the floor just over there. So you do need to watch yourself so you don't get one tapped. When you are heading into this area, you want to go left straight away and basically go straight into this section right here. I always like to look over just like so to see if there's an extract camper back there. And then the next thing I do is go all the way to the very right. And there can sometimes be extract campers here. But you're going to want to close the door in case there is any extract campers at the back just over there. Continue along right here. You've already checked your corner to the right. This door does spawn close. So when you open it, when you're heading down these stairs, you're going to want to check just down there. As well as on top right here because you can actually get jump, uh, you can get boosted on top of that light. Then you can get people that lie down just here. Now this is just a bit of RNG. You're going to have to check each corner one at a time. Just like so. They'll most likely be on this side because they do have the right peak advantage. So they can get you a bit more easier like. But continuing along, this is finally at D2. Heading your way down here, you're going to look to your right. Realistically, if someone is camping up here, you can see their feet. So it's quite an easy kill. But nine times out of ten, you've got someone that's just behind this barrel. When you are sticking your head through here, this is the... Well, the extract. All you do is flip that button and you're going to need it to open. Now, you do need to make sure you actually flip that button. And then, over time, it slowly opens up. It's a big old hermetic door. Slowly as it comes, just like so. And then, boom, you can extract. If this is open, do just watch yourself. There is a cheeky little spot behind this door that people can camp. 
when it's fully open you can see the timer doesn't disappear and you are actually behind cover behind the door here and people just won't expect it if you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with head over to prana.tv slash discord we do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a sherpa system so if you just need a bit more help than normal then we are there to help you hopefully you guys found this guide useful if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards don't forget to check out piranha.tv as well that's a one-stop shop for all of your guides tasks keys all those kind of things in one location hopefully you guys found this guide useful and i'll see you in the next video and a big thank you to all of my patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash piranha tv and a huge thank you to jay dam freddy and beansy without this kind of support i wouldn't be able to do what i do